Google Analytics is an essential tool for website owners. With Google Analytics, you can see to which pages your visitors are coming, where are they coming from, and which pages are they are exiting and all. Not only that, you can track your user behavior, you can set up events, and you can set up event goals and monitor everything. On October 14, Google has announced their new property called Google Analytics 4. This is the new generation Google Analytics, which also dubbed as GA4. The existing Universal Analytics users can upgrade to GA4 property. GA4 is completely different from Universal Analytics. It's a good idea to run both GA4 and Universal Analytics parallelly on your website. In this video, I have tried to cover every possible scenarios a WordPress user installed or upgrade GA on their WordPress sites. Whether you are a new user who wants to install GA on your site or an existing user who wants to upgrade to GA4 or someone who wants only the universal analytics installed on their site. Let's see what are we covering on this video. First, create a Google Analytics account. Google has simplified the sign up process. Now, you can create both GA4 and UA properties while signing up for GA. 3. Installing the tracking code to the site. This is where most users are struggling at. I'll show you two simple ways of placing your tracking code on your WordPress site. Number 4. If you are an existing user with Universal Analytics installed, I'll guide you to upgrade it to GA4. And finally, I'll show you how to create a Universal Analytics property alone without GA4 and install on your website. Here's something you should consider. There are plenty of plugins out there to install GA on WordPress sites. With these plugins, we can easily see the states on your WordPress dashboard itself. But remember, it will consume your server resources and may slow down your website. Therefore, I cannot recommend any plugins for this purpose. If you are adding multiple tracking codes such as Facebook Pixel, Google Remarketing Text, etc., please consider Google Tag Manager. With Google Tag Manager, you can enable NNC Commerce as well. NNC Commerce reports are great for you to analyze your sales performances, your product performances, shopping, or checkout behavior, etc. It's a must have feature for any e commerce website. If you need any help with Google Tag Manager or NRC Commerce, please do comment below or fill out the contact form on our website. We are more than happy to help. To sign up an account, go to analytics.google.com. Here, you need to give a name of your account. In my case, let me type as Coachili and keep this checked and click on next. Here we need to give a name of our property. Let me give a name and select my country and the currency is fine and click on show advanced options. Enable create a universal analytics property and give our website address. Press next. Here you can select uh, your preferences. Let me go with these two and press create. Let me select my country to agree to the terms. Our properties are created now. Let me close this for a moment and go back to see the properties. Click on data streams. Click on the data stream created. Scroll down and click on connected site tags. Here we can see our UA property here. This is our universal analytics property number. Let me close this and go to global site tag to get our tracking code. As I mentioned before, 
Let me show you two ways of installing the tracking codes. The first method is to install the code on the theme options. Most of the modern themes are having this option to insert code snippets. In my case, I am using DV theme. Let me go to DV theme options. Click on integration and go to head section. And here I need to paste my tracking code. Let me go back to my GA and copy the code, come back here and paste it here. Once done, I can save this to see the changes. This is one way of doing this. If your theme doesn't support uh, or if your theme doesn't come with uh, theme options to place your snippets, uh, we can use a plugin. So let me delete this for a moment. So let me delete and save this and let me go to plugins, add new. I'm looking for a plugin called headers and footers. So here it is, it has like uh, more than 1 million downloads. Let me activate it, go to setting, click on insert header and footer. Oh, here's the place. So let me go back and grab my code once again. Come back here and paste it under head section. So let's see this. Right, let's go to my website and see. I'm using uh, Google Tag Assistant. So I can see my yeah, measurement ID. Yes, it's there. It's the same measurement ID I can see on my site. And let's see how the UA is there. Right, okay, there's my universal analytics ID. Yep, that is also there. So which means the code is applied on my website. So let's see how the states are on Google Analytics. Let me go to the real-time report. All right, yes, I can see uh, one online user and the location is also showing. So if I switch to my universe analytics property, uh, here it is. Right, let me go to real time. Right, I can see here and I can see the page which I am on as well. Now we have successfully installed GA on our website. Before we move to the next part, let me quickly show you the difference between GA4 and UA settings panel. Once you go to admin, so you can see uh, both our properties there. So if you select the UA1, you can see a panel in the right side panel, so which is basically called view. So you can uh, set filters, you can uh, set up goals, everything here. But once you select the GA4, the new one, it doesn't have a view panel there. In this way, we can identify both the properties. If you are an existing Universal Analytics user, you can now upgrade to GA4. In this example, as you can see, I have a UA property here. Let's quickly check our real-time report as well, just to make sure we have a working setup. Yes, I can see one user is here. To upgrade, let me click on Admin, and under Properties, we can see upgrade to GA4 option is here. Let me click on that. In case if you are not seeing this option, I'll put up the link of my blog post which describes a workaround for this. As you can see here, it's, it's not connected with a GA4 property. Let me click on get started. This wizard will take us to create a GA4 property automatically. So let's do this and click on create property go to data streams and our site is here click on that and enable enhanced measurement and go to global site tag and here we can see our tracking code here so let me copy this 
and go back to my site so I should paste this on the header and footer right let me delete the existing code and replace with a new one right this is my measurement ID right this is same we can see that here as well right let me save this go to my site and let me refresh let's check the tag system yes our new measurement ID is here yes the same number let me go to property setting and just rename this just to avoid confusions so I'll rename this uh, GA for property and I have my existing UA as well so let me select that and type as UA property just to identify these two and click on save so as you can see here there are two properties one is GFO the other one is Universal Analytics to verify let me check the real-time report on my GFO property so once I go there I can see one user is here but once I go back to my UA property I won't be able to see any so let me go to real-time overview see nothing is here and this is where most of the users are getting stuck at the reason for not getting hits on our existing universal analytics property is remember we deleted our code and replaced it with a new gtech code having gtech code alone won't send data to the universal analytics property we should tag our universal analytics tracking id on our new ga4 property to do this go to admin select the ua property and go to tracking and click on tracking code here is our tracking id let's copy this and go back to our new ga4 property and click on data streams so here is my stream and click on this so once i go down i can see connected site text option is there click on that and paste my tracking id let me give a nickname i'll put as a property just to identify and click on connect i tag my id let me close this and go to my ua property Alright, let's go to the real time. So let me go to my site and refresh this. In Tag Assistant, now I can see three tags are here. The measurement ID and my UIDs are there. In the real time report, I can see my page path. Let me quickly switch back to GFO property to see. So I go to real time yes so now we can see the traffic on both properties in some cases we want to create a universal analytics property without new GA4 there yes that is possible too to do that go to admin click on create property here let me give a name for this property select my time zone and let me click on create a universal analytic property toggle here I need to give a URL and from this radio button you need to select create a universal analytics property only once that is done click on next and fill these details press create and you will see the tracking code here 
if you're not seeing the screen you can always go to the property the new one and go to tracking info and go to tracking code to get the code here so let me copy this code and go back to my website just let me paste the code on my header section just uh, double check the uid yes the tracking id is correct 1819 starting with yes let me save this let me quickly go back to ga and go to the real time report just to see whether we are saving traffic Here, let me go to my site Uh, on the tag assistant I must see my new UID yes it's there the global global tag is there yes I can see the traffic also here if I go to another page let's say built I should be able to see the URL as well yes this is how we implement google analytics on our wordpress websites the detailed article is available on our website as well please comment below your feedback on this video thank you and stay safe